I've, I've watched I've watched it through the Olympics for a lot of years. Uh, really comes down, I'll give you the short version. I made a bet with my buddy that I would I could try to become an Olympian. And again, there's no real time frame on that, but that was the original thing that got me into it. And so I was gonna do badminton, but I thought it was gonna be too taxing on my back. So we started doing this. One thing led to another. We got hooked up with John Benton, started curling, and to be honest, it's just it's it's so much fun. It's it's, it's a sport that you don't realize how fun it is by watching it until you start playing. And then I got hooked up, you know, I got to meet all these guys, I'm hooked up with a bunch of guys, and then you get the competitive juices going. And the cool part is everybody's super friendly and welcoming. And so now it's just become a part of the community and, and we're just trying to get better and better and better. And you know, it's, it's more of, uh, obviously we still set really lofty attainable goals, but now it's more about just honing your craft and, and trying to learn from as many people as possible and, uh, and getting to kind of be in these in these atmospheric moments that, that are there kind of prime time and, and see how they handle it, and it's pretty cool. Were you natural right away? I mean, I'm pretty much a natural at everything I do. <laughs> there were there were some falls for sure, but uh, I think we picked it up pretty quick. All right. Um, any similarities to football? No, no. Everybody has that question. There's none. The only maybe balance. You know, for me, balance and flexibility was a huge part of pass rushing. But no, everything I learned in football goes the opposite in curling. What were some things that came easy to you? Uh, I think the physical aspects are easy, right? It's the mental side, the strategical part that, that you got to learn, 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 learn. Um, and just understanding all the different little angles, and that's just from seeing rocks after rocks. So I think that was the biggest surprise for me. Um, and then, you know, but the physical stuff, you know, repetition, you, you're going gonna to master it at some point. So there aren't too many 6'6", uh, 250-pound guys out there. Um, what are some things that, um, you know, maybe help you out being that size, and what are some things that make it a little bit more difficult? Well, they leverage and, and flexibility and, and, and just, you know, reach as far as getting stuff out, but um, until they let me start pushing people around, like it's like I can push people down while they're gone, I don't think it has that much of an advantage. All right, um, and uh, what's it like to be here surrounded by Olympians and, uh, you know, some of the Dude, it's the coolest. It's, it's literally an honor to be able to come up and be a part of this. Um, you know, when, when Rune and those guys, you know, called me and asked me if I'd come up as the ultimate. Um, to me, I thought it was, it was a sign of respect for how serious they think what you, we've been taking it and, and what we've been doing. But, you know, for me, it was more of an honor to come up and learn and be a part of it and, and see. Because, we, we've, I mean, you know, we've played, we've got our butts kicked by every team on this ice just about at all these uh, WTC events and stuff. But to come into a different environment where it's game time and see the different intensity and the different focus, it, it, it's really something you, you, you pick up on and you got and you got to hone in on. Uh, you mentioned the Olympics. Um, is that the ultimate goal for you in the sport? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what I bet. Otherwise, i got to pay a large sum of money to somebody. But, um, yeah, I mean, any, any, I think any, any, any Olympic-type uh, sport, I mean, that's got to be your – everybody should shoot for the highest goal attainable, I think, in life and in football. I told my dad when I was eight I was going to go to play the NFL, right, and that's what I shot for. So my whole – I live my life on making lofty goals and then driving to get to them. And I think if you do that – Wherever you fall, you're going to be successful. All right, and uh, final question. Uh, the level of sportsmanship out here um, oh, is maybe a little bit different than uh, what's on nuts. the bottom of the pile. I love it. I love it because everybody's super kind, but it drives me nuts because I like to talk a little trash. I like to rip people. I like, you know, I like to get into it. I like to mix it up a bit.